<laughs> I'm sure I'll get plenty of cake today. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be one tonight. Okay, they'll, they'll be one at the party, one, yeah. one at the performance. Okay. Uh, what about Durrell's hand? <clears throat> no, he's oh, okay. Right. Girl, I don't, mean to, hand. I don't mean to be on your I'm case. Just trying to get on TV <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, welcome to Dallas. Thank you. It is so good to have you. And I am also one of those people. I've been looking forward to this production all summer long. Kiss me, Kate. You have sung music of so many different composers, and of course, Cole Porter, one of my favorites, mm -hmm. is one of mine composer. too. Tell me the, the differences, if there are any, between singing a Cole Porter song and singing something by Stephen Sondheim. Stephen Sondheim is very wordy, so I think before I go on stage, well, at least when I did uh, putting it together so many years ago, uh, I would have to uh, go over the, the words in my head because they're so intricate. Uh, with Cole Porter, it's... Um, sort of like it reminds me of Ella Fitzgerald's voice. It's very velvet. It's very silky. It's very smooth. And that's the experience. That's what it's like to sing it. What is your favorite song in Kiss Me, Kate? Oh, gosh, I like all of them for different reasons. I love the love song because I, I, uh, I think about my, my uh, experiences of love, my um, the people that I love in my life. When I uh, sing I Hate Men, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a time for me to um, comically uh, express my anger. Um, I love um, um, From This Moment On, because that's also a comic number, and what we do with it is a lot of fun. So, I love them all. There's a lot of body contact in this, I started saying this film. There's a lot of body contact in Kiss Me, Kate. You and, and Rex, your two characters, really duke it out. Does anybody ever get hurt? We <laughs> <laughs> have bruises right? all over the place. What it's did just, you fall against? Oh, who knows? <laughs> you know, we. It, it just depends on how you fall that particular night or how he grabs me or how I grab him or hit him. and. And pr for the most part, we do a pretty good job, and we don't we don't hurt ourselves because we've we've gotten it down. But every so often, you know, something strange happens, or or one is very tired. It's the end of the week, and and we just use a little too much force. <laughs> so uh, that's just what goes with the business. How could you determine when you were in rehearsal how hard you should slap him? Oh well, it took a lot of practice because sometimes I clocked him. Many times I clocked him <laughs> across the <laughs> face and be like, oh, uh, you know, and sometimes he spanks me pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> this is very interesting for, for TV, isn't it? <laughs> if you take that out of context, it could be kind of nasty. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, we, we, it takes a lot of practice. It is a technique. It's a stage technique that we, we, you have to acquire. And the bruises come later. And the bruises <laughs> just, they they're just go with the show. <laughs> Luckily, I wear long sleeves <laughs> so you don't see them. <laughs> There's a very interesting thing in Kiss Me Kate, with Kiss Me Kate, because it's the first role that you did mm -hmm. when you were 17. Mm -hmm. And now here you are doing the Broadway. Yes, and thank God I have some life experience. Uh, when I was 17, of course, I was in the chorus of a dinner theater production in San Clemente and the uh, lead got ill and uh, there was nobody to sing the role. I was the only one in the chorus who could sing it so I learned the role in two days time which I can't imagine. This, at this day and time I cannot imagine learning that in two days time and uh, went on and I, I was so nervous and so scared and I was hanging in her costumes. The woman who played Kate must have been in her late 30s, early 40s and, and I was a scrawny little 17 year old and singing these songs about a man that I've loved for years. <laughs> so it was, uh, <clears throat> it, was, it was very funny and a uh, terrifying experience. <laughs> but so I'm glad that I, I, I have the chance to, I have a, a second chance at it. It's almost like a, with this uh, show, everything's sort of coming around again, almost like the spiral. You know, 
I've learned more, I'm better, and uh, it's coming around, but I'm, I'm at a higher level. Same thing with Michael Blakemore. I worked with Michael Blakemore in City of Angels, and that was my Broadway debut. And he, t he taught me comic timing. So now I, I've got it, I've really got it under my belt, and uh, I've, I've been blessed with the chance to work with him again. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's been a wonderful experience. I'm working with uh, Rex, Harris, uh, Rex Smith again, and um, again, we worked in Scarlet Pimpernel together, and we get another, we get another chance at that as well. It would seem to me, Rachel, that having the experience of learning Kiss Me Kate in two days when you were 17, mm -hmm. that nothing now could throw you on stage, right or wrong? Um, I, I'm pretty comfortable on stage, but sometimes you have your bad days. <laughs> Everybody does, but I'm, I'm pretty secure up there. That's, that's where I live. That's where I feel very comfortable. What is the most unscripted thing that has ever happened to you on stage? Like a blooper? Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. Now that you catch me off guard. Um, oh, there was something that happened recently. I'm trying to think of what it was. Oh, you know, many times there'll be a prop that you want to use, and it's not there when you want to use it, and it's like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the, the funniest thing that's happened. Um, oh, well, in the last scene, I wear this long, long dress. Oh, I'll tell you the funniest thing that happened. Uh, in Washington, about two weeks ago, I don't know what it was. I have never done this on stage before, but I had the giggles through the entire show. And I, I've prided myself at, at, you know, always being focused and centered on stage and professional. And... Uh, Rex had an ad lib and he started speaking in German or something and I don't know it just rubbed me the wrong way <laughs> the, the right way I guess and I just started giggling through the whole thing and I couldn't keep it together and every scene after that and then I, I finally got it together and then I, I uh, performed the last scene in which I wear this beautiful long red dress that skims the floor and if I don't stand up straight I'll walk on it. <laughs> and sure enough, I'm singing this song about, uh, it's the Shakespearean uh, text uh, put to music, I am ashamed that women are so simple. And I'm basically telling women to hold their temper and, and, and respect your man. And, and I'm, as I'm doing this, I trip on my dress. <laughs> and then I lost it. <laughs> then, I, then I started giggling for the rest of the song. But luckily, the audience was right there with me, and they were laughing along with me, and uh, <laughs> we all had a good time. <laughs> you didn't say to the costume mistress, uh, uh, let's, let's shorten that <laughs> am a little. Well, now I'm, I'm lifting my skirt up a little bit when I do that particular turn, uh, just, a, just a tad. And they did tell me originally that I did not have to lift my skirt up because it should just bounce out in front of me, but um, there, now I have made some adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rachel, again, we're so pleased to have you in Dallas, and I'm so looking forward to seeing you oh, tonight. Oh, good. Are you, co you coming tonight? I am coming. Wonderful. I shall be there. Wonderful. And thank you for your time today. This is opening day, and I know you've got a lot of other things on your mind, so thanks for spending this time with us. Well, thank you for interviewing me. Thank you. Just stay where you are, sir, because he's going to put the camera around on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rachel, what is the difference between singing a Cole Porter song and a Steve... <coughs> Clear my throat. <coughs> Rachel, what is the difference between singing a Cole Porter song and a Stephen Sondheim song? Well, with Stephen Sondheim... Okay. Uh, all right. There's a lot of physical contact between you and Rex Smith in this production of Kiss Me Kate. Do you ever get hurt? No. <laughs> All the time. It's part of the business. When you were in rehearsal, how did you know just how far to go with the slap? Uh, it's a learned technique. It's a learned technique, definitely. 
Uh, all right. What is the funniest, most unscripted thing that has ever happened to you on stage? <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> No, when I got the giggles, when I got the giggles about two weeks ago in Washington, D.C. Definitely. <laughs> um, I, uh, let's see, I didn't tell you that we, we had been, we hadn't had a day off in two weeks. So we were all very exhausted, and I guess I just expressed myself through the giggles. And I couldn't stop laughing through the entire thing. And Rex was speaking German. And it rubbed me the right way, and I every time I looked at him, I would crack up. <laughs> every time. But luckily, the audience was there with me. The president understand. wasn't there that night, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> he would have loved it. He would have loved it. He, he did love it. He, it was a good show. Okay. It was a good show. That's good. That's good.